The Kazan Aviation Plant, named after S.P. Gorbunov, also known as KAZ, announced the serial production of the 2214 medium-range passenger aircraft during a highly challenging period. On one hand, the sudden halt of foreign airliner deliveries and Western sanctions forced Russia to give top priority to the development of domestic civil aviation. Assigned a central position as a production hub, the plant is a joint venture between Rostec and the United Aircraft Corporation. The plan aimed for a complete transition to serial production within a few years, along with a full re-equipment program and modernization of its workshops. The project was expected to lead to the production of dozens of aircraft every year. However, by the year 2025, it became clear that these initial projections were far too ambitious. Real technological, personnel, and logistical challenges faced by KZ slowed down the entire program. The Tu-214 was meant to serve as the centerpiece of Russia's civil aviation import substitution plan. But the growing gap between the scheduled and actual production rates revealed deeper structural weaknesses within the national aviation industry. The factory had originally planned to produce three Tu-214 aircraft in 2025. That target has now been revised downward, and the latest projections suggest that only one aircraft will be completed this year. The first of these aircraft, with registration number RA-64536, was already built and completed its first flight several months ago, but the customer has still not received it. This delay is not just symbolic. It shows the seriousness of the fundamental problems in the program. The delivery has been held up by certification issues, documentation delays, or contractual bottlenecks. Even though the aircraft has finished its flight tests and is physically ready, it has not been handed over. Industry observers see this as a warning sign. While KAZE can build the airframe, it still faces problems in completing deliveries and shifting to true serial production. Current estimates show that the plant can produce a maximum of five or six aircraft each year. Therefore, even the goal of three aircraft in 2025 was overly optimistic. The earlier dream of producing dozens of aircraft annually is for now not achievable. Casey's official goal remains to build around 10 aircraft each year starting in 2025. Both Rostec and Russian government officials have repeatedly confirmed this target. Senior leaders have announced a gradual increase with hopes to reach 15 aircraft per year by 2026 or 2027, and finally 20 per year by 2028 or 2029. According to the Ministry of Industry and Trade of Russia, the Kazan plant's production facilities should be fully modernized by the end of 2026. Only then, say officials, will the company be capable of maintaining consistent serial production. This new schedule replaces the earlier, more aggressive forecasts that predicted reaching 20 aircraft per year by 2026. For now, the most realistic plan is to produce around 10 aircraft in 2025, 15 in 2026 or 2027, and 20 by the end of the decade. The main bottlenecks are the personnel shortage and limited production capacity at KZ. The plant is struggling to find enough skilled technicians, machinists, and assemblers. This reflects a wider skills gap across Russia's aviation manufacturing sector. The long pause in civil aircraft production made it hard to attract and retain talent, and many experienced workers have already retired. The factory itself is being reconstructed, but many assembly and processing workshops are still unfinished or need extra funding. Limited space and slow modernization prevent the parallel building of multiple aircraft. The supply chain is another major challenge. The Tu-214 depends on hundreds of subcontractors across Russia. The mandatory import substitution policy disrupted many traditional supply links that once involved Western components. Local suppliers are working to increase production, but replacing every foreign part domestically has proven expensive and complicated.
The TU-214's original design dates back to the 1990s and relies on materials and manufacturing networks that no longer exist. Its outdated structure makes mass production even harder. To achieve stable serial manufacturing, engineers must simplify the airframe, reduce its weight, standardize components, and replace all foreign systems with Russian-made ones. To reach that goal, a new engineering and design center has been created in Kazan. Its task is to improve the assembly process, redesign old systems, and introduce modern materials to lower costs and speed up construction. The modernization of the T2214 is one of the most extensive redesign efforts in Russian civil aviation since the Soviet era. The aircraft is being upgraded with a wide range of domestically produced components. The first version, which used Russian-made avionics and communication systems, became operational by the end of 2024. New Russian equivalents are now replacing imported navigation, radio, and communication systems. Around 400 million rubles were allocated by the government in mid-2025 to modernize communication systems on two 214 aircraft built for special purpose operations. In September 2024, the Kazan facility officially opened an innovation center to focus on material upgrades, structural optimization, and weight reduction. The center is also introducing new composite materials to improve performance and reduce fuel consumption. Aeroflot, the national airline, has proposed about 99 cabin layout improvements for future 2214s. These include new overhead bins, lighting systems, redesigned galleys, and more modern passenger seats. Aeroflot has already completed over 150 flight tests using the modernized versions of the Tu-214. These tests are required to certify the new Russian-made components. As a result, the Tu-214 is slowly evolving from an older design into a much more advanced aircraft that offers better passenger comfort, reduced dependence on imports, and improved reliability. One of the program's most visible problems is the aircraft that was finished and flown several months ago, but has still not been handed over to the customer. Even though it performed well in testing, it remains parked at the factory awaiting delivery. This situation highlights the ongoing challenges related to customer readiness and certification, which continue even after the airplane is physically complete. This delay carries symbolic meaning. It is not just about technical or bureaucratic issues. It also raises questions about financing, airline preparation, and contract procedures. The difficulties faced by KAZ go beyond the production floor. They affect the entire business and administrative system linked to each aircraft delivery. Meanwhile, KAZ is building the 214 as a completely new series aircraft. It is not a simple copy of the older model, but an updated version that includes many more Russian-made systems. According to reports, engineers from the Kazan plant and the Tupolev Design Bureau are working together to achieve the highest possible level of domestic production for all parts. Still, it is believed that some non-critical systems may continue to depend on foreign materials or previously imported parts, despite the official goal of complete localization. Certain electronic modules, composite materials, or auxiliary subsystems may not yet be produced in Russia on a large scale. As a result, the newest aircraft may be a hybrid, mostly Russian in structure and systems, but still containing some components of foreign origin. This shows the transitional nature of the TU-214 modernization program. The ultimate goal of producing a 100% domestically built airliner remains an aspiration and may not be achieved until the next decade. The slow production pace and delivery delays have serious consequences. Russian airlines must keep older foreign aircraft in service longer and cannot easily switch to local models because of the limited supply. Some carriers have to rely on secondary leasing or gray market imports which undermines the very idea of aviation independence that the program was meant to ensure. 
Limited output also weakens the economic efficiency of the Kazan plant and its partner companies. Failure to reach expected production volumes reduces job stability, prevents cost savings from large-scale production, and delays the return on investment. The plant's management is now under growing pressure to prove that modernization can deliver real, measurable results within the next two years. The official government target of producing 20 Tu-214 aircraft per year by 2028 or 2029 is still in place. But industry experts consider this goal risky. Unless the design upgrades and supply chain localization progress more rapidly, the plant may not reach the required production rate in time. The undelivered aircraft sitting at the factory serves as a powerful reminder of that uncertainty. The Tu-214 program has become a test case for Russia's strategy of import substitution in civil aviation. It illustrates the gap between industrial ambition and actual results, a gap the government cannot afford to ignore. To make real progress, CADE must complete its modernization plan and reorganize its manufacturing workflow. The goal is to streamline material logistics, increase automation, shorten assembly time, and build new production centers that can handle several aircraft at once. It is also essential to strengthen the workforce. To create a stable base of skilled labor, the plant must recruit young specialists, provide continuous training, and keep experienced engineers. The Republic of Tatarstan has already launched regional programs to train aviation workers specifically for the Kazan plant. Another key factor is the reliability of the supply chain. The plant needs stronger cooperation with domestic suppliers and must help them expand production capacity. Close coordination between suppliers, logistics hubs, and certification bodies will be necessary to prevent further delays. If everything proceeds as planned, KZ could realistically reach serial production of 20 aircraft per year by 2028 or 2029. But this depends on continued political backing, disciplined management, and sustained investment. The success of the Tu-214 goes beyond a single airplane. It symbolizes the revival of Russia's civil aviation industry. The credibility of the country's broader industrial policy depends on Kaz's ability to overcome its current limits and prove that advanced, high-tech manufacturing can once again be done domestically at scale. In summary, the present situation, where only one aircraft is completed in 2025 instead of the Plan 3, and that aircraft has remained idle for months after testing, is not just a production issue. It represents a major challenge for the entire system of Russian civil aviation. The Kazan plant is now facing the hard task of matching ambition with reality. Outdated infrastructure, incomplete modernization, and an overstretched workforce have collided with the government's high expectations. If KZ can finish its modernization and speed up production within the next two years, the Tu-214 can truly become the foundation of Russia's post-sanctions aviation revival. If not, the project may need a serious strategic rethink, and the country's dream of aviation self-reliance could take far longer to achieve. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us 